Hello docs, this is Dr. Jerome Fryer. I just want to share with you a model that I created here to help with a greater understanding and communicating instability or joints that are moving a little bit too much in your patients. This model was created with an elastomeric uh, L4-5 that has a little bit greater elasticity associated with it. So now what we have is a model that has a relatively more, well this one's the stiffest, this is the sort of in the middle of grade stiffness and this is the least stiff so more mobile so you can see that this joint moves a little bit more so under load you can actually see how this one translates forward a little bit more and of course these facets are going to be approximating and this is usually the beginning stages of a degenerative um, a spondylolisthesis perhaps uh, you know, it doesn't have to be a, a super grade, like a grade one or two, but uh, this is, you can see that, the, of course, the facets are going to be touching up against one another, and this is likely going to be causing some arthritic changes within the joints in there. So also helpful, you know, lying patients prone, and you when you inspect, you're pushing on certain landmarks, and of course, this one is going to be moving a little bit more. So even motion palpation, when you're actually pressing P to A, it'd be, I think it's wise to ask the patient, you know, which segments are sore when you're pushing, um, you know, uh, on their back when they're laying prone. So anyways, I think a very helpful little model to help with understanding of, you know, it's important to maintain the lordosis under load because when you are bending forward, for example, and you lose just even a little bit of flexion, or you lose a little bit of the lordosis and you go into a little bit of flexion, you can see how that quickly becomes, it actually moves uh, more because the facets aren't there kind of, you know, stress shielding the disc. In neutral load, you can get away with, with um, you know, extra load, but because the facets are engaged in here. So, a really good teaching point as well so hope that's helpful